There's a reason that super tags in Tana are called super. They are not just a way to categorize information, but they're actually the very heartbeat of your knowledge system. So here's how to set up and organize your super tags using the Tana super tag page. Hey, my name is Ev and I create YouTube videos to help you build your personal knowledge systems so you can turn your personal knowledge into powerful ideas. So I remember the first time I saw a Tana promotional video and saw the super tag. I knew we had something special. On the surface, super tags look and feel like just another way to tag and categorize information. And in their simplicity, that is exactly what they do. And yet, they're much more powerful than just a simple tag like other apps. They bring your information together in a way that you can sort, filter, and kind of find everything again exactly when you need it. They are the true heartbeat of Tana. And the super tag page is the heartbeat of your super tag. It's a place where you can configure your fields and settings, collect all your nodes together in one easy to find place, and create views to organize your information and knowledge. So in today's video, we're going to deep dive into how to set up and organize a new super tag page so your information is captured and organized for whenever you need to access it. Okay, so let's dive into Tana and get started building our super tag page. So firstly, how do you even get to this super tag page? Well, that's really simple. All you have to do is click on any super tag and it will take you right there. The first thing that you'll see is a table that shows you all the entries at that super tag. Every super tag page starts with this view and it's basically a table view that shows you a list of everything that is tagged with that particular super tag. So you might want to configure this. I usually rename this search here and just call this all and then whatever the name is of the super tag. Okay, so this is all tasks, right? Then what you can start to do is if you want to add fields to that super tag, this is where you do it. All you need to do is click, press this add field button add a new field and then you can start to do this. So we might have a, for a task, for instance, we might want a status field. You might want to call this task status just so it doesn't get mixed up with other statuses that you have. Um, now this is by default going to be a uh, text field. So if you want to configure it as a different type of field, all you have to do is click on this icon. Once you do that, we might for a particular, you know, particularly for a status field, we will want to use this thing called options. Um, and then you want to start to think through, well, what is the process that this kind of super tag goes through? So you might have something that's called, you know, an incoming task, in progress and complete. Okay. And that gives you then um, a list of options that when you're in here, you can click in and you can say that's an incoming task or whatever. And you just can add as many fields as you want. If you okay, so this is a really good start, but what about when you start to get a lot of items in your super tag list? Or what if you only want to see a segment of your list? Of course, you can use the built-in filters to see what you want to see, but if you don't want to fiddle around with filters, then we can actually set up some custom searches right here on the super tag page to make it really easy to organize your information. Now, what kind of searches that we start to build comes down to the kind of knowledge that you're capturing. Is it active or passive knowledge? So let's talk about this concept, shall we? In general, there are two types of informational knowledge that you are going to collect in Tana. And I break these down into two different categories. The first one is active knowledge. This is the kind of information that moves through a process. There's different stages that the information moves through and the outcome is to kind of to track the information through those stages. So think of this as things like tasks and projects, okay? Now the way to organize active knowledge is usually through some kind of status field, okay? So when you create your super tag, you'll also create a status field which has different stages. Now the second kind of knowledge is passive knowledge. This kind of knowledge is things that you capture, but it doesn't usually move through a process. It's more like reference material. So you capture it, you give it a category, and then you usually file it away somewhere. So think of these kinds of things like notes, quotes, recipes, your favorite songs, all of those are passive knowledge. Passive knowledge doesn't really have stages, but when you go to categorize it, you're going to want to have fields that is maybe a type or a category so that then we can categorize those things later. Okay. So thinking about your knowledge this way means that you kind of have a framework where you can quickly create views in your super tag without asking the question like, oh, what searches should I be setting up? 
So once you know the kind of knowledge that your super tag is, then we can start to add views. So for instance, a task super tag is definitely active knowledge. We're tracking it through a certain status. So we have our task status field, which is incoming, in progress, and complete. So we might want to create a view for each one of those. So all we have to do to create a new view, let's say we want to see all the incoming tasks. We're going to add a view up here. Uh, it's going to be, let's say, a list. It's already going to give us the general super tag where it says search for nodes tagged tasks. All we want to do is open the query editor and what we're going to do is add our filter field. So you want to come in here, create a new field and the field is going to be task status. And then we want to find all, only those incoming tasks. Once you do that, we can press run and done. Now this task is still going to come up because this status is incoming task. But if we change this to in progress, you're going to see this gets grayed out and we can actually press clean up and there's no tasks in our incoming list. Now, all you have to do is just rename this to incoming tasks. And then what we can do is we can easily duplicate these for each of the stages. Okay. So you can just come up here and right click and press duplicate and then call this in progress. And then all you have to do is come and uh, click on your super tag, open the query editor and change this to in progress. And then you do exactly the same for complete. And now you have a way to track not just all of your tasks, but each different status uh, so that you can kind of hone in and focus on just the things that you need. And you will do exactly the same thing for a super tag that has passive knowledge. Um, but maybe your passive knowledge, instead of a status, you have a type. Okay, so even here within tasks, we might have a type of task. It might be a work task. It might be a personal task. It might be a family task. And so all you have to do to create these different um, searches is make sure that within your super tag, you've got your status or type field. And then you create your searches to find the super tag and then whatever that field is that you want to find. And so now that you've got your super tag page set up and organized, you probably want a way to find it again really easily. Now, of course, you can go back and click on the super tag on any node that you've tagged and it's going to take you straight to the page. But what if you don't have it on the page? Well, there's a couple of different ways that you can kind of have it so that it's easily accessible. The first way is to pin this node. So in your sidebar, you've got this place where you've got pinned nodes. So all you have to do is come up to the heading, press Command K and just type pin to sidebar. And that's going to then add that super tag in here to your pinned nodes. Now, this can get a little bit um, messy, so it, you don't want to add every single super tag here, um, but it's a way to access the ones that you use all the time. But if you do want to add it to your sidebar, all you have to do is open up your sidebar and then you can literally come here and drag this into your sidebar and you've got a place where you can find that super tag page again. And that's it. I hope this video helped you understand how to set up, organize, and use your super tag page so you can capture and find all of that knowledge in Tana really easily. And if you want more Tana resources, then go to my website, evchapman.com, where I have templates, guides, and also my signature course, Tana Fast Track, which shows you how to build a personal knowledge management platform that can turn your knowledge into really powerful ideas. And of course, if you like this video, then make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.